Hi my dear Flustube friends, this is Needle Ninja, welcome to my channel and welcome to my first ever VIP parade of 2021. It's uh, December 31st, 7 p.m. here in Japan and I would really love to upload this video in this year. So, first of all, thank you everyone for your support in the 2021. I love all your comments, all your tips. I'm really treasuring it very much and hope to see you in 2022 as much as possible. So let's not waste any time and let's go for it and let's see all of my things that I need to complete. So let's enjoy my big parade, yay. Okay, let's do this. I divided my projects into some groups, so let's start with the Heaven and Earth design projects. So most of you know this is my biggest and this is my actually favorite one, which calls Large World Travel Bookshelf. It's uh, designed by uh, Heaven and Earth Design and the artist is uh, Amy Stewart. I'm stitching this pattern on a 25 count DMC fabric, two uh, over one half stitch and I'm using my snake method and all the, the, the important details will be in description but not maybe tomorrow I will add that so please be patient okay so this is uh, my largest one and the most enjoyable one and I start this one in October 2019 and I'm 16.49% done so it's like 170 pages huge project so but I love it and I love that I don't I'm not losing the interest of stitching this I think it's because of the fabric because of the all the things going around like there's always something new to stitch and yeah it's very comfortable and very enjoyable pattern so that's my first one my second one I think the most beautiful one <laughs> It's a uh, fire opal bar by Cl Chris Ortega and it was the limited edition and I'm so happy I didn't wait and I bought this because I'm really enjoying this one. It's also on a 25 count DMC fabric. I'm stitching this two over one half stitch. I'm not using a snake method. I'm uh, parking my threads at 20 by 10 blocks. And I started this in uh, January 30s, 2021, and I'm 17.2% done. Next, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't uh, iron this, this pattern because I'm using the, um, what is it? What is this one? I cannot say, what is it? A friction pen, which is erasable by heat. So that's why it's a little bit like that. And next time when I see you, I will move my, uh, hoop my Q snaps and I will try to stitch this pattern from right to left from here so I will not see this beautiful curl for a long time but yeah this is my progress in 2021 so let's go for the next one so this one calls uh, Christmas Stocking Faithful Friends. I'm stitching this on 25 count DMC fabric, two over one half stitch. And also on this project, I'm using a, a snake method because there is like, this is like, I think the most heavy comfy pattern I have. So for that, it, the snake method works the best for me. And I started this uh, pattern in uh, March, uh, 2019 and I'm already 50.25 percent far so I must say this is I think this is my I think more most mm, could be finished this year <laughs> project so hopefully hopefully okay my beautiful only one Christmas stocking this one calls uh, midi meditation I'm realizing all of my Heaven and Earth design projects I'm stitching on 25 count uh, TMC fabric, the same fabric, and all of them are I'm, I'm doing a half stitch. But this one I'm not parking, I'm using uh, cross country and I'm working with every color from the center and I'm making, you know, the 
well the time lapse of this how I start with the first color till here um, yeah I'm working on that upload so hopefully coming soon the time lapse of how I did that and I started this actually with you with you guys in uh, October 2021 and I'm 9.8% far I'm really enjoying this one new way of stitching and I really like it so that was all of my heaven and earth design project now let's go to the long dog samplers so as most of you know this is a pandemic I started this project in June 2020 and this was actually my first uh, project as a needle ninja so I started this with you and I'm 29% uh, done. This is a 20 count hardinger and I stitched this one over one full cross. And I'm stuck with the page number six. All people who are stitching this, they are saying that, yeah, this is the tricky one. I love this pattern, but I don't have much time. So yeah hopefully but pandemic is still not over so well no i need to finish this one another long dog sample project calls new normal this one i stitched on 16 count cosmo it's something i i don't know the name of the color it's something grayish bluish something and uh, i started this one in september 2020 and I'm 24.6% far and I stitch it two over one full crosses and tell me the truth tell you the truth this is the only pattern I really lost the interest of stitching on this one I don't know why I was wondering why I was really excited to starting this started this one and I had a great idea, I think, but I don't know if it's the colors. I think it's the colors and the way I, I, I organize these colors, I don't like. So mm, I don't know how many stitches it will get in a 2022. So, but anyway, I will try to do my best. So this is my new normal. Okay. Now I have a two of Carolyn Manning projects. This one calls Halloween Hijinks. I stitched this one on 16 count Cosmo fabric, two over one, full cross. And I started this one in April 2020 and I'm 19% far. So it's just, yeah, this little, it's not so huge. I think it will be perfect square. So I really enjoyed this one because as uh, same as my uh, bookshelf, there's always something new going on and I love these colors and I really would love to hang it on my wall <laughs> in a future Halloween so wish me good luck I'm really looking forward to work on this one another one by Carolyn Manning is uh, it calls fire it's the pattern from the broken star collection and I'm stitching this one on a 16 count Cosmo two over one Oh, sorry this is 14 counts Cosmo 2 over 1 and I started it in a July 2020 and I'm 13.6% far and this is the pattern which I can use when I'm laying down I don't put it into my clamps I'm just I just lay down on my back and just hold it it's not huge it's really small so and I just stitch it and really I like this is my lazy pattern okay here we go next one this is my always with me pattern so let's see this is my uh, case where I have it and you'll be surprised that there is actually my Ronnie roll pattern which is well everywhere I go it's always in my back and sorry it's really we say gucha gucha so i didn't iron it so this is it let me show you it's all you stitched his um, projects only in a black 3 3 10 and it's uh, this calls uh, parish church 
I think this is a 20 count something I'm not sure what it is and I'm stitching this two over one full cross I started this pattern in a 2019 and I have well I always think like I will have a time to do that last time I went to Tokyo and I in a Shinkansen I did these stitches just to have stitches so next time when I'll be even more busy I will just I don't have to look at the pattern and I will just do the full crosses but I'm really I love I love his patterns and I would love to stitch more of them there is that I don't know the piano teachers house or something like that and I really love that one so after I finish this one I will go for another one so this is my Ronnie Rowe parish church Okay, next group of projects are uh, projects which I bought from uh, Etsy and this pattern I never showed you. I think I did some uh, I, something, some tu not tutorials or something like that, but this pattern it's, uh, I don't know the name, it's just something three and uh, I'm stitching this uh, on a, what is it, I think this is 16 count. 16 count uh, Cosmo fabric and this is actually uh, this will be a present for my friend who actually opened her shop she's a masseuse and she do this you know when you have your body broken she will just fix you and I asked I, I told her that I would love to give her some uh, present the stitchy cross stitchy present and I asked her what she likes and she told me that she loves the trees so I pick up a few uh, patterns and I let her decide and she picked up this one and she said like this is really color colorful and if her patients will see this they will be like how do you say in Japan we say Genki you will get like you know power or you will feel better so hopefully I can give her this this year definitely it was planning my plan was to give it to her this in this year when she opened her shop but well didn't happen and I started this one in 2020 December so it's going to be one year and I'm one year late but it's a beautiful project it's easy to stitch and I love the colors so yeah this is the one you may saw this project I'm in love with this one. This is just, this is, this one is just so cool. And this is my, I think this is the closest to the end, closest to finish. I was really looking forward to finish this one in 2021. Didn't happen. I have to stitch more like NG, only NG, and I didn't make it. But this is the smallest count of fabric I have. It's on 32 counts something fabric i don't know i bought it in in a europe where i was visiting my family and i'm stitching this uh two over one half stitch and it looks just beautiful and i love it and i'm so glad i did the the lightsaber with a sparkly thread it's a cosmo red sparkly something thread i don't know it was it was supposed to be just a red DMC but I changed it and it's I don't know how you can see it through the camera but it's really like it's so wonderful and it's so beautiful so find lack of your fate disturbing this was supposed to be my present for my husband then it moved to present for my uh, older son and I think when I will finish it it will be a present for my youngest son so <laughs> anyway I love this one it's looks perfect this project I also start with you it was in uh, June 2021 it calls Mickey's coffee and I'm stitching this this is my second biggest count I'm stitching this one on a 28 count Lugana and I'm stitching it one over one full cross but even this is this pattern is just like 30 colors or something but it's really comfy heavy and well the, the back is the is mess and it's really like thick so I will not definitely want to work again on a 28 count I like the max is 25 that's what I'm enjoying and but yeah I like this pattern so I'm definitely going to continue 
So this is Mickey's coffee and I'm 11.11% done. Okay, this project, it calls Easter something. And this used to be my uh, travel, traveling. This project was traveling with me until I changed it uh, for a runny roll. And I'm stitching this on a 25 count fabric, one over one full cross. I'm not sure what kind of fabric is this, but it's, uh, I love this. It will be just a symmetrical square. So actually this pattern will, will be same in all the corners. And I don't know, it will be maybe centerpiece of my pillow or I don't know, my back or whatever, but I really enjoy to stitch only with one color. color. It's a 3371, I think. And yeah, that's my, that's actually the last pattern which I got from Etsy and it's my actually whip. So I will love to move this one for, a, yeah, let's work on this one in the next year. <laughs> my latest start, I bought this pattern uh, in a net shop which calls Thread Bar. And this calls uh, Audrey Hepburn in Paris. I'm stitching this on 28 counts. Uh, what is this? Uh, Zweigart. Uh, it's not Lugana. What is this one? It's Belana. Sorry, it's Belana. And I'm stitching this one over one full cross. And this pattern I stitched uh, with a. Um, how do you say? girls calls Vanny she's stitching like the diagonal and I forgot how she calls it method but there will be a link in the description so please check that out this is the different way of me stitching something and it's actually parking but it's kind of like parking slash cr cross country and I'm really looking forward how this will look now let's move to my only uh, how do you say pre-painted uh, cross stitch this is a, this calls C in a bottle I think this is a 14 counts uh, something I don't know and I stitched this two over one as they ask for and I started this one in August 2020 and I'm not well I thought it will be much easier but the colors under they're kind of mess and it's kind of difficult to look for it but this, I'm definitely sure it will be beautiful, beautiful after I finish it. So yeah, this is my only pre-painted fabric. And now we're going to another of my whips, which I bought. So this one I got on AliExpress. So let's see what else I got on AliExpress. This is the, I don't know. It was in Chinese, so I cannot read, but I call it a uh, balloon girl or girl with the balloons. And this actually came with a different fabric, but I didn't like it because it was too stiff. So I changed it. So now I'm stitching it on a, this is a 16 count uh, Cosmo fabric, two over one. And somewhere there they, they call for just a half stitch, but basically full crosses here so i started this one in march 2021 and this is the whole size it will fit into this small group so i like it maybe i will just hang it like that somewhere so yeah two of my aliexpress purchases so i think i need to speed this up because we have just like 30 minutes something so my next one is my only needle point there is a movie about this uh pattern i will put the link inside it's i got this in uh where was it uh 2016 when i visited new york for a second time in my life and this pattern is from i bought it from uh, rita's needle point shop and I'm just, you cannot, maybe you cannot tell, but you know, this, this part is stitched. This is a stitched part. This is not stitched, but maybe when I will show you, yeah, if you see the back. And I love it. I love this pattern. Uh, I don't have enough time to work on it, but I will do my best to complete it really soon. 
So yeah, my only needle point. Really love it. Another one with my only bead work. It's this beautiful project. Yeah, I bought it in uh, some Russian net shop. It calls a magic canvas. They have beautiful, beautiful, beautiful projects and it calls support. So you know that I'm a ballet girl. So see, this is, they are using like 10 beads, 10, 10, uh, no, 10 colors. And it's just beautiful. What's that? What is there not to like? So I'm definitely want to work more on this project. So hopefully I can, yeah, I can, I want to hang it in my studio. So yeah, this is my beautiful beading whip, which I'm definitely going to put into my rotation. So finally, last but not least, uh, my own uh, patterns, which I convert using a program called pick to pet And this is, uh, this is just a little start of a beautiful painting which my dear friend did. She, her name is Adika, and she is a beautiful painter. And this is the, this is the picture she painted, and I just uh, changed it to the cross stitch. I don't know if it's uh, well good enough. Now I would love to try to change that this picture with another program maybe it will be it will give me a better result but yeah this is my progress on it and if you stay with me for this long there is a little coming out from me so thank you for staying with me so long and this is a pattern of my home time hometown which is in the middle of Europe the country called Slovakia and this is a capital city of Slovakia it's a, it calls Bratislava I don't know if you ever heard of it it's just a small tiny country and even smaller uh, city but I love it and it's uh, there is actually the Bratislava ca castle here and uh, there there is a Donau uh, river and the old town and it's actually really beautiful beautiful uh, picture so I converted this one with a pig to pet and I started this one really long time ago and I'm stitching this on a 25 count uh, DMC fabric as all of my uh, Heaven and Earth design projects and I'm doing the two over one um, half stitch I think yeah and I'm really looking forward to finish this one so yay I'm actually I'm Slovakian girl living in Japan <laughs> and this is my beautiful town where I born and finally <laughs> half of my face I actually find this and I was like wow <laughs> so this is me this is half of me and <laughs> it's really messy it's this with this project I try to learn how to stitch with many needles but if you can see like there are still needles inside and it's already so much mess and I really didn't like this this way of stitching but I was look, looks like I did I, I had I spent a lot of time on it so this is me half of me well long time ago though not so long yeah maybe 10 years ago and there is a picture of my husband actually so this is our to get a picture and the, the, the sad thing I have to say I I don't know I, I I cannot find the pattern I don't know where I put it I have just this yeah this old paper but that's just for my face I cannot find my husband so maybe that will be just picture of me or I will redo it or I don't know so yeah this is me this is actually half of Needle Ninja so hi everyone <laughs> So if you stay for this long, I really mu must thank you. And I still have uh, another whips, which I didn't touch in uh, 2021. So that will be maybe for a next video. But anyway, hope you, in you could enjoy my whip parade. Bye for now. And this was my 100th upload and I'm so happy that you could spend it with me and I'm so happy that I could actually done this. So again, thank you. Thank you always for your support. 
please keep writing your comments your messages whatever you feel like or whatever you want to tell me please um, stay with me through my well stitchy adventure um, I have to say I have I don't have I know I have one favorite maybe two favorite projects but that's it well actually talking about favorite ones this is not uh, <laughs> this is not really I don't know why I'm sorry but I love them all I love all of my projects and I just wish there were like 48 48 hours in one day so I can work on them more or well some of you told me that once you retire you will get your stitchy time so well it's a still a long way to till I retire and I'm but yeah and definitely this one will be finished in a 2022 I'm sure and definitely okay definitely <laughs> this one will not be finished in 2022 I'm sure with this one we will be here for a long time so thanks again thank you everyone have a beautiful beautiful and better and wonderful and everything you wish for in a 2020 so stay safe have a wonderful start of the year and let's see each other through another 365 days so Thank you and bye.